Hello and welcome to uh, HTML tutorials lesson number eight. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about uh, formatting uh, text areas. This is a, a build up to making a, a contact form um, which is going to be one of the last lessons uh, within the uh, HTML tutorials. So you can walk away um, with knowing about um, tables and so on. So let's get to, um, to do this first. Alright, let's open up PSPAD, make a new file HTML. I'm going to scrap this because I'm going to talk about it in another tutorial. Okay, let's uh, zoom in and uh, let's give it a, a title of contact form. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is for someone to input data within a contact form to be able to send us within an email, um, is we need to give it a field for them to input their name, for example. So what would be the best thing to start off to do is to say name okay and uh, just for the sake of being um, nice and smart we're going to give it a bold tag and also just to do a little bit of uh, recap on the previous lessons we're going to use um, a paragraph as well so let's just dump these all on uh, their own own lines first of all Okay, so input type equals name, and then what we're going to do is we'll, we'll um, put a break in there as well, and go to the next line. Now, the first um, input box type of input box there is, or the tag should I say, is an input tag. Now, the input tag is its own um, tag; it doesn't need to be closed. So, um, yeah, we don't need to basically write input. Uh, okay, I think you got the idea anyway. Okay, and the type of field that we're going to be using is text. So we want the user to input text, and it's simply written input type e equals text. Okay, that's um, pretty much it. So let's save uh, this out as index.html and go to desktop and open up the Firefox. And as you can see, you've got the name there, and then you've got you can type in. Uh, Mark Davis. Okay, so that's pretty much nice and simple. So let's talk about now um, making this box um, shorter, shall we? So it's only going to come to about here. So what we can do is basically si say size that formats um, the the length of the box. All right, the width of the box, should I say? And we're going to take it down to 12, and we're going to save it out. Sometimes you have to play around with these numbers. There we go, and you see it's brought it brought it down slightly. Let's zoom in a little bit. It's brought it down slightly. Okay, now what about if you only wanted to let the user enter, say, uh, ten digits in it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see we can go on forever enter, entering them in, but we're going to only uh, uh, let the user enter ten digits within it. So the the other attribute to the input um, box is max length equals 10 and we could say 5, say 20, um, we could say whatever we wanted basically and we'll just control S to save that and now we come back to this and as you can see when I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then I try and put in more, nothing else goes in. Well this is a, a basically a good thing because it means if someone's entering a telephone number in, then it means they can only put the correct amount of numbers in for a telephone number, because otherwise they're more than likely spamming uh, your contact form. So it's a st it's the starting of um, stopping spam spam mail coming to you. Uh, there's other w methods of using JavaScript, PHP, and so on to do this. Um, okay. Um, then the other attributes which are also important, which uh, I can't show you an example of it for now, but we can just write it out. Is the name, and best thing to um, give it a name is to use the name that you've put beside it, the label that you put beside it. Okay, and we're just going to name it name. Okay, and uh, also for the likes of uh, JavaScript later on, um, it's good to give it an ID as well. So give it an ID of name. Now you don't have to, but when you move on to the likes of um, PHP to process a form um, or maybe using Ajax and JavaScript as well, then you basically need to give it an ID for JavaScript and Ajax 
and give it a name for um, PHP. Okay, so that's pretty much it on the input text input type box. Well, um, what we'll do quickly, because I believe I've got time, is uh, we'll make another uh, paragraph here so it's nice and smart and then we'll say make a, a submit button okay so that's again input and this type equals submit now we give this a name as well of submit just good practice and um, the value the value is is what's going to be um, written on it otherwise uh, it's a it says submit form I believe um, but we're just going to say um, send info okay we'll save this out and we'll refresh the page and there we go it says send info so this is the um, submit box now there's also another one which is the um, reset button so if we make another paragraph here and we say input type equals reset name equals reset and value equals reset form we'll save this out refresh it right and as you can see now if I type in David in here we press the send info it does nothing at the moment because it doesn't we'll move on to that later and if I press reset form right there's another reason for this um, which um, it's to do with other elements that we need to put into it but if you can just bear with me for the time being and say when I put David in um, and you press the reset button it will reset um, the form basically it doesn't do it at the moment but in the next few tutorials you will see um, what I'm talking about okay but these are um, the three most commonly used input types okay anyway um, look forward to the next tutorial where we're going to start um, talking about um, text areas. Okay, so uh, yeah, my name is David Thorne and I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de. Come to my site and you'll be able to see all the other tutorials um, that I've done. Thank you very much. Goodbye.